Aloha. It's your favorite friend with questionable character. Aloha, Mr. Han. Coming to you April 4th, Sunday, April 4th, Sunday Night Baseball. Courtesy of our friends at From the 108. And, of course, powered by Jack Daniels. And there will be no victory shots today. No joy in Mudville or the South Side. White Sox lose 7-4. to four. Um, Pretty consistent themes that we've seen so far as this season since the regular season started. Inability to drive in runs. What are they, 0 for 18 what runners in scoring position? I think the stat is that they showed. Uh, you know, fortunately, they were playing a team that was trying to give them the game. I mean, the Angels gave them everything they could to try and let the Sox win, and the Sox just couldn't do it. For, the Sox scored four runs. No one got credit for an RBI. All on airs. I mean, what more do you want the Angels to do for you? They were gift wrapping you that game, and you couldn't take it. You know, pathetic performance. Dylan Cease in the first inning was just god awful, dreadful, terrible. He seemed to right the ship after that, even though the damage was already done. Way too many pitches in the first inning. I mean, I think he had like 30 or 31 pitches in the first inning, it was at least 30. You can't expect to succeed with that. You can't. I don't know what's going on in that guy's head, but he comes out and it looks like he forgot what he's there for. He looks like he has no purpose, no clue. Oh, let's just throw the ball. And it's not that he was being squeezed or anything. Some of the pitches weren't even close. They were non-competitive pitches, as many people tweeted about. Not competitive. It's like just throwing waste pitch after waste pitch after waste pitch. Of course you're not going to get any calls from an umpire if you can't establish that you know how to throw a fucking strike. So, the Angels tried to give him that game. The Angels really did try and give him that game, and they wouldn't take it. Was hoping things would be different, and I know it's only four games in, but I don't want to hear from anybody. And now especially, I don't want to hear from all the experts who talked about how, oh, this team, you know, oh, don't worry about the depth. They got a lineup that shoves. Well, yeah, it shoves when you got people in there to shove. Eloy's gone. Now, T.A., who knows? He might be out. He might be back in the lineup tomorrow. He may be on the 10-day DL. Who knows? We don't know. This is why depth is critical. Also, with the performance of Cease, this is why depth is critical. The bullpen. Cody Hoyer looks like a totally different pitcher. Pitch, uh, pitcher. You know, and I was messaging with some of the guys, and, you know, Wally basically responded saying, you know, I think he needs to change his jersey number because he's starting to look like Nate Jones out there, throw, you know, throwing meatballs up there for everyone to hit. But, you know, what can you say? They lost again. They need to clean some things up. Not a good performance so far. And I'm not even going into that atrocious, atrocious broadcast on ESPN. I think that made the game even worse for me because that broadcast was so bad. You, they interview Le Lucas Giolito. And the first question is, so what do you think about Shohei Otani and his pitching? You could tell Lucas was was like, are you seriously asking me this, dude? Really? You're going to ask me this? It was an awful broadcast. It got to the point where I had to mute the TV and listen to the radio broadcast on my iPad. And I, I have gone on record saying I am not a Len Casper fan. And I had to listen to Len and DJ on the radio because the broadcast was that bad. Let me say, in all honesty, I got to say, Len and DJ sounded pretty damn good, too. I, I might have been off, you know, I might have been off on my assessment of Len Casper. Obviously, I need to listen to some more to hear it. But, you know, not a bad broadcast at all. So, uh, no victory shot today, obviously, because the Sox just give, give away ball games. And, you know, they need to clear clean some things up. They're on their way to Seattle tomorrow. Rodon taking the mound. Hopefully that's the beginning of something good. Uh, you're going to see Rodon, Giolito, and Keuchel in the series. 
And then Thursday, when they return home for the home opener, and it's supposed to be in the 60s, uh, it'll be Lance Lynn towing the rubber for the Sox. So hopefully they can start a win streak and get, get moving in the right direction, because right now they are not. So with that, that's all I got, folks. Have a good night, and with that, I'm out of here. Bang.